Hey everyone, it's Tara. Today's Vita Day 25. Today we're talking about our pet peeves, which is one of my favorite topics. I love to complain. Um, I actually did a blog post about this a couple months ago, so I'm basically just going to reiterate some of these because they are still my pet peeves. But first and foremost is something I deal with every day when I go to work, and that's the escalator. And there, people in Philadelphia just do not know how to ride escalators. I... When I lived in D.C., it was, you know, stand left, or stand stand right, walk left. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot that. And I am a big holder of that rule. And so basically, when people get on the elevator and just stop on the left, especially if there's an entire line of empty, if, if the escalator's empty, they just stop on the first one and ride it up, like, laziness. I don't know, get on the other side, let the people walk. And I'm too nice of a person to ask them to move, so then I just stand there all irritated. Um, another thing, people who walk really slow. I know some people can't help it, but they get my way. And I'm a really fast walker, especially if there are four or five people deep on a small sidewalk, or they're just, you know, casually walking and chat and not caring about the people, not even noticing the people around them or the people that they're inconveniencing. You know, the same kind of people that stand in the middle of doorways to have conversations and don't notice the people that are walking around them angrily. So those are two of my biggest things. Also, people in traffic who, if there's a long line to merge and they go all the way to the end and then expect to be let in, I think there's only a few times that you can get a pass for that, and that's if you're in a strange area, you don't know where you're going, you might be getting lost, and you're like, oh, that's my exit, crap. But if you know exactly where you're going, and you just go all the way to the end of a long line, or to the beginning of a long line, and then expect to be let in, I think you deserve to have everyone not let you in, because that's just a really jerky thing to do. Oh, people who don't stop for pedestrians, I walk... Sometimes I walk to my train station and I have to cross the street and sometimes there will be traffic coming from one direction and not the other. And the nice thing for people to do would just be a stop and let a couple of us, you know, walk across. It would only take them two seconds, but no, they're all a bunch of pricks and sorry. There's not, there are some days where I literally just want to stand there and give everyone the finger, which I would never do, but that's just how mad I get and they... They see like a group of ten people standing on the side of the road waiting to cross the street because there's no there's no crosswalk crosswalk at this intersection. It's kind of but everyone crosses there because it's the only place you can. And I really just want to stand there and give people a finger. I get so irate. I guess a lot of mine have to do with like traffic and people getting in my way. I'm just I walk fast. I drive fast. Not that fast, but. People who just don't, who just make their own rules, basically, and, you know, don't notice how they're affecting other people around them. And I think that's a big part of just being a nice person and just, is just being aware of your surroundings and people who are in their own little world and just expect the world to just revolve around them and everyone to work around them. I think I just can't stand that. Anyway, I can't wait to hear other people's. I'm sure I forgot so many because there's so many things that make me mad. But I will talk to you all tomorrow.